Hello and welcome back to the Digital Health and Wearables series. Today I have another magnificent guest and episode for you. But before I go ahead, let me remind you to subscribe and also share with your communities in healthcare. Also, let me acknowledge our partners, the digital health platform Clinitouch V and our industry partner Isaac Care. And right away, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Krisa McFarlane. She is the CEO of Patient Tory. Chris, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. No, it's brilliant. Thanks for connecting again. We met recently, well, recently, a few months ago in uh, Orlando at IMSS. So it feels like a long time. It's a strange thing. feels a long time, but it feels like it was just around the corner. So <laughs> It does. It does. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for accepting my invite. Absolutely. And today we are here to discuss blockchain technology in healthcare. And I'm going to go right away with the questions. Is that okay? That's okay. I'm so, prepared. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, the first question that I have for you, Chris, is tell us about your work and how you are using blockchain technology to democratize healthcare access. Absolutely. Well, just a, a refresher for those who don't know blockchain, um, essentially is a decentralized database that allows for you know, the integration, but also transfer of information and ownership of information. Um, you know, coming from a, a emergent healthcare information technology background, prior to this, where I was building telemedicine software, um, you know, we all know the difficulties in accessing patient information. Um, so, you know, in the work that I do in our company, you know, we're focused on being able to provide a, a secure data store, you know, of disparate information across medical data um, and healthcare information for individuals by empowering them with their own data. Um, we use blockchain um, as a mechanism which controls a lot of that um, consent management of sharing information, um, but also identity, which is important, you know, when considering, you know, healthcare, healthcare information. And we see blockchain really as the foundation um, for which, you know, we can start to build more advanced technologies, especially now as we see other industries heading into like the metaverse. Sure. Chris, thank you so much for that uh, thorough explanation. And also, I think blockchain adds immense value to bring it back to patients and all the, the older stakeholders, really. People are still very apprehensive, but now I can actually see that things are starting to move and these technologies are being adopted. Do you agree? I agree. And I think, you know, COVID really had a lot to play, you know, with, with this, unfortunately, you know, it created, you know, a large pandemic, you know, really started to, um, highlight the the shortcomings and the holes within our healthcare mm. um, infrastructure. Absolutely. And the, the second question that I have for you is part of your mission is going uh, to control people and ownership of the health data. And tell us a bit more about that, please. Absolutely. So, you know, especially in the US, um, you know, right now, healthcare data is in what we call electronic medical records it's owned by the hospital institutions um and it's hard for you know we have patient portals um you may you may go to one you know hospital on the east coast and then move to the west coast and you have multiple portals already so right there we start to see a silo of information that exists um i know looking at internationally and in other developed countries like europe you know there is one um national system where you can go in and you probably log in and you get all your your identification and, and information um however you know this is this becomes static data and there's not much that we can do um, with this information so the goal is to start to unlock this information so that people can start to be educated around what their data means to them and how they can apply it to improve you know um, the health and overall improve health outcomes. Mm. 
Well, fantastic. I, I do agree with you. I mean, one of the biggest problems in healthcare, as you well know, is this fragmentation of data and also information, solutions, everything. Everything is very fragmented. But also from my knowledge of the marketplace in in, in Europe and, and all over the world, really, but in Europe, certain countries have a unified health system, but most countries, they still don't. And one example is the UK. Everybody thinks the national health system, the NHS, is one unified organization. But in all essence, there are 221 uh, CCGs, organizations, different budgets, different technologies, different geographies. It's very complex. So this problem is actually um, a worldwide and a global, a global issue in healthcare. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. I think there's also opportunity in, you know, emerging countries, emerging markets, especially in, when we look at countries that within Africa who, you know, they're basically starting from the ground up. I think this is an opportunity as well to go in and, and you know, do it right from the start where, you know, patients are the bearers of that, that information. Mm, absolutely. And the third and last question that I have for you, Chris, is what countries around the world uh, serve as role models, if you like, or now patient data and privacy should be processed and handled? That's a great question. Um, you know, when we first started the company, we, we looked to Estonia that, you know, implemented a, a similar um, decentralized system, um, not necessarily blockchain, but it's a decentralized infrastructure and in, in basically put in their citizens' medical data on, on e-health cards. Um, you know, and that's a small enough country, you know, a population of a little over 2 million um, where they were able, able to do that. But then you see the benefits of, of having that data, you know, regardless of, of what, you know, provider um, you go and see. Um, fortunately, this week I had a chance to speak with um, a Belgian delegation where, the, you know, the princess of, of Belgium was visiting Atlanta on a trade mission. And they were able to show me, you know, what their um, national health system was able to do in, in providing you know, access to their information. Um, so we already see countries that, you know, are, are unifying, like you mentioned, you know, some others do not, but some countries already have that unified um, infrastructure. And it's it's a perfect, you know, next step into blockchain um, and Web3. I think, you know, these countries are, are definitely going to be, you know, those early adopters of that technology. Sure, Chris, that's a fantastic example. Estonia is really that reference of the digital let's say the digital country, I mean, leading the way, they, they do so well. As you mentioned, it's probably be slightly easier because they are a smaller population. They can plan and do well, but also they done really well in terms of planning ahead. And a few years ago, they unified the citizens' information, the health records, everything in one place. So they done extremely well. But also let me highlight the Nordics. You mentioned Sweden. Uh, Denmark, Finland. I work particularly uh, for a few years doing consulting work with a lot of health tech companies from the Nordics. And apart from being very innovative, also these systems are very well developed. The health systems, they even give uh, startups the opportunity to try things out, pilots in hospitals, public health. So, I mean, it's, it's a really great mentality, but also they have this uh, culture of really bringing things together. So, and I really want to bring this expertise from the Nordics to the U.S. healthcare system. I mean, learning, I mean, best practices, best um, procedures and everything. So thanks for highlighting that. I think that is really, really important it to, is. to implement change in the long run. What do you think? Well, you know, we have to have aligned incentives. You know, I think that's the biggest um, challenge. You know, the innovation is there. The technology is there. I think now it's, it's really the mindset um, and we kind of see that shift here in the U.S. and I think, you know, internationally as well. I know Europe just, you know, announced the European health data um, initiative. So I think it's, it's really where now we start to see industry stakeholders um, along with regulators. If they can if we can really come together and create those aligned incentives, um, that's going to really usher and, and help to accelerate um, a lot of these technologies that have been created. Mm -hmm. 
Brilliant. It's, it's great to see that things are moving. Chris, it's been a pleasure. We could talk for hours. We come to the end of <laughs> we come to the end of the the episode and the interview. Uh, before I wrap up, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but I finish all my episodes in a peculiar way. It's not really a question as such. It's called one minute of fame, and you can mention anything: professional achievements, partners, clients. You can go on a prof- on a personal side, family, or anything personal that is close to you, you can mention, you can give a shout out to your company, anything whatsoever to round up. One minute of fame, over to you. All right, one minute of fame, just a shout out. Well, I definitely want to shout out to um, our wonderful team. You know, we came, we came on the, the scene as the first healthcare cryptocurrency, uh, which is it's just, it's a big accomplishment. So definitely want to, you know, shout out to especially our CTO, Dilipin um savannah ham and and what the work that he's been doing diligently and very humbly brilliant chris what a way to finish let me uh well congratulate you on your great work but also uh thank you for your time your magnificent insights and expertise thanks for being in here and accepting my invite absolutely thank you john and i'd love to you know continue on on this you know um partnership with you as well brilliant fantastic i'm gonna round up now uh, to our viewers and listeners, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this amazing content with your communities in healthcare. Let me acknowledge our partners, the digital health platform, um, Clinitouch V, and our industry partner, Isaac Care. And make sure you talk and connect with Chris. I'm going to post here a LinkedIn in the body of the YouTube and also her Twitter. Engage with them, ask her questions. She's an industry expert. And I'll see you all next week.